basic standard of living could also include uh, whether someone feels inclusive or included, whether communities are inclusive to people. Um, that's kind of like what we're doing with Grand Ledge United. We're trying to make Grand Ledge, which is historically a place where people of color haven't always felt very welcome, more welcoming, uh, more inclusive, more equitable, and we're we we've seen backlash like we're already seeing backlash like, really how so like for example um i had i, I got onto the library grand ledge library uh board meeting because they'd asked you know if someone from grand ledge united would come on and i went on um the co-chair the other co-chair uh rachel she went on and then the police chief also got on and an older gentleman a few older gentlemen had been going to the library and harassing the clerks about the signs out front which are the grand ledge united funded signs um which are it's like what about this organization could make people upset because it's all about like equality and understanding and like compassion so i'm for sure. confused i mean he was just like i don't need that sign to tell me that you know black lives are you know worthy black lives are needed black lives are beloved and that's not the order, but I always mess that up. <laughs> um, but that's what the signs say. And he was just going off and he's like, I've been here for 48 years in Grand Ledge. And he's like, I've never seen one racist thing in Grand Ledge. Oh, no. And it's hilarious because I, <laughs> I had a meeting with a guy a week before who was from Grand Ledge. Um, like white dude in his 50s. Awesome guy. I won't name drop him just because we're not like that tight yet yeah but he was telling me a story about how he was uh he, it was like in the 80s and him and one of his buddies were at a restaurant in grand ledge and he took the wrong turn and he opened up a closet instead of a bathroom and he said there were clan robes oh my god <laughs> but in grand ledge in yeah the 80s, and he was just like and he's a white dude and he's just like oh dude and he's like i'm getting i'm getting the fuck out of here and a lot of you guys probably have no idea where grand ledge michigan is but it's just west of the capital city uh, of michigan lansing so um we grew up you know in a predominantly white community um there wasn't a ton of diversity or anything um but i think it's really important what you're doing what grand ledge united's doing i think that people can benefit from that across all communities um so Another thing I wanted to ask you, is there someone in politics that really, really inspires you? And if so, like, why? I honestly, the, the one person in politics who I see and I'm just consistently inspired by is it would have to be Bernie Sanders and just his relentless pursuit for, you know, equity yeah. and equality. You know what makes me so mad is mm. people so quickly and so easily and consistently write bernie sanders off because they're like he's too loud he's too left he's too liberal he's too this to that it's like are you even listening to his policies and what he believes in and do you realize you're the people who would benefit the most from it like it is the most frustrating thing trying to like tell people bernie sanders is you know a stand-up politician uh, i think that's really common with most people most people and, and i'm guilty of this you know sometimes and i think we all are guilty of this to a certain extent, we don't do our homework and we don't look into things enough and we don't listen to people's, um, you know, policies enough. And, you know, sometimes what politicians say and what they do are different. But I think Bernie's been consistent throughout his career. And there are videos that go back, you know, that just prove that he's always been on the right side of history when it comes to civil rights, when it comes to um, gay rights, things of that, that nature. Um it's like it makes me think of like when people are freaking out about um they're like joe biden's gonna raise your taxes he's gonna raise your taxes and it's like he's only raising taxes on um, households that make over four hundred thousand. <laughs> the memes 000. about that are so funny but it's like if you don't make over four hundred thousand dollars a year you don't have to worry about it mm -hmm. and the vast 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 majority of americans do not make over four hundred thousand dollars a year 